Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the beautiful fleur-de-lis stitch which you can see here in front of you. This is a textured crochet stitch that is often seen worked in two different colors as I am going to work it here. Next week if you happen to come back you will find uh, the fleur-de-lis stitch worked in a single color because it's slightly different. Uh, when you work it in one as opposed to just two. So today I'm going to be working it in two different colors. Again, it's a very beautiful stitch uh, and, uh, and it's a fun one to work. Today I'm going to be using uh, a couple different colors of yarn, a gray and a blue. Uh, this is the paint box cotton yarn and this is a Lion Brand worsted weight cotton. So uh, you'll just need two different colors of yarn for your project today. As well, I'm going to be using a 5mm crochet hook, and uh, links to these items can be found in the description of this video. Also in the description of the video, you will find a direct link to the free written crochet pattern for the Fleur de Lis stitch, which can be found on richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you again for joining me, and uh, while you're here, I invite you to take a look around. Don't forget to subscribe. This channel is updated weekly with uh, a free stitch tutorial and crochet patterns. Our stitch today is worked in rows, so we're going to start by taking our color A, which for me will be this blue color, and by making a slip knot. Once you've made your slip knot, you can go ahead and make a foundation chain. For your foundation chain today, you're going to need a multiple of six stitches plus three. So today I'm going to chain 21. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin by skipping the first two chains and these two chains will count as a double crochet stitch. You're then going to work a double crochet into the next chain, so into the third chain from your hook. Chain 1, skip the next two chains and single crochet into the next chain. chain 1, skip the next 2 chains, and into the next stitch work 3 double crochet stitches. You're now going to repeat that. Chain 1, skip the next 2 chains, and single crochet into the next stitch. Chain 1, skip the next two chains and work three double crochets into the next stitch. You're going to want to repeat that all the way across until you come to the end. I'm just going to keep going here. When you come to the end, you'll have three chains remaining. You're going to chain one and uh, then work two, skip the next two stitches and work two double crochet stitches into your final stitch. At this time you're not going to turn your work or fasten off, you're simply going to uh, let your color A hang. At the end of row one you're simply going to drop that loop for now. And you're going to pick up your color B make a slip knot and you're going to join it back at the beginning of row one into the top of your turning chain. So you'll want to join your new color of yarn just into the top of that turning chain at the beginning of row one. You did not turn your work, you're just simply going back and joining your new color. You can then chain one and you're going to begin row two by working a single crochet into the top of that first stitch, so into the top of the turning chain. Next, you're going to chain two, 
and then work a back post raised cluster stitch. To work your back post raised cluster stitch, you're going to yarn over, bring your hook in back of your work, insert your hook around the post of the next double crochet, working from the back through to the front, around the post, and out through the back again. Yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. Next, yarn over, insert your hook into the top of the next single crochet, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. Next, yarn over, insert your hook, bring your hook in back of your work, insert your hook around the post of the next double crochet, working from the back through to the front, out through the back again. Yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. You'll have four loops left on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops. That's your back post raised cluster. You're then going to chain two single crochet into the top of the next double crochet stitch. Chain two and repeat. Work a back post raised uh, raised cluster stitch around the next three stitches. Chain two and single crochet into the top of your next double crochet stitch. Repeat that all the way across. When you come to the end of your row, you're going to chain two and then work a single crochet into the top of your final stitch. But when you work your final single crochet, you're going to want to switch back to this color A, which has been waiting patiently at the end of your row for you to return. So you're going to insert your hook into the top of that double crochet stitch with your color B, yarn over and draw up a loop. Then drop your color B, put that loop from your color A onto your hook and draw it through. Your color A is now ready uh, to continue for row three. For row three, you're now working in your color A. You can chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch, and turn your work. You're next, you're going to work one double crochet into that same stitch as joining. So into the top of that single crochet stitch, work a double crochet, chain one, skip the next two chains, and then into the top of your cluster stitch, work a single crochet stitch chain one, skip the next chain two, and into the next single crochet, work three double crochet stitches. Chain one, skip the next chain two, single crochet into the top of your next cluster stitch, chain one, and repeat. Three double crochets into your next single crochet. Chain one, single crochet in the top of your cluster. Repeat that all the way across. When you come to your final stitch, you're going to chain one and then work two double crochet stitches into that final stitch. There's then no need to turn your work and you're simply going to drop your color A. For row four, we're going to pick up our color B once again, which is down here uh, just below our row three. So we're going to simply just insert your hook into this top 
of that starting chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch. Reach down, pick up your color B, place it on your hook, and pull through. You're then ready to continue your row four with your color B. You're going to begin row four by chaining one and work a single crochet into that first stitch. Chain two. We're now going to work a front post raised cluster around the next double crochet into the next single crochet and around the post of the next double crochet. So to work your front post raised cluster, yarn over, bring your hook in front of your work, insert your hook around the post of the next stitch, inserting it from the front, across through the back and out through the front again, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. Then yarn over, insert your hook into the top of the next single crochet stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over, bring your hook in front, insert your hook around the post of the next double crochet, working from the front through to the back, out through the front again, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. You'll have four loops remaining on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four loops. That's your front post raised cluster made. You can then chain two and single crochet into the top of the next double crochet stitch. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. Chain two, work a front post, raised cluster around the next three stitches. Chain two and single crochet into the top of the next double crochet stitch. Repeat that again until you come to the end of your row. Again, when you come to the end of your row, you'll chain two and then into the top of your final double crochet stitch there, you'll have your color A waiting for you. So you're going to insert your hook with your color B, yarn over, draw up a loop, drop that color B again, pick up the loop from color A, place it on your hook and pull through. You're now ready to continue in your color A for row five. For row five with your color A, chain three and turn your work. Next for row five, work one double crochet into that same single crochet stitch. Your chain three at the beginning also counts as a double crochet stitch. Chain one, skip the next chain two space into the top of your next cluster, single crochet. Chain one, skip the next chain two space into your next chain, uh, single crochet, work three double crochet stitches. And chain one. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. Single crochet into the top of the next cluster stitch, chain one, into the next single crochet, work three double crochet stitches, chain one, single crochet into the top of your next cluster stitch. Repeat that all the way across to the end. When you come to your final single crochet stitch, you're going to finish off the row with two double crochet stitches into that final stitch. You can then drop your color A and then you'll be ready to pick up your color B. There's no need to turn your work. Just insert your hook into the top of that starting chain three of the previous row and pick up your color B and you're all set to go for row six. Now that's all there is for the repeat in this pattern. 
All you're going to do now is uh, simply repeat rows 2 through to 5 for as long as you would like. Fasten off, weave in your ends, and your fleur de lis stitch is complete. So thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial. I would love to hear how you would use this stitch in a, pa in a pattern, and you can let me know in the comments down below. Other than that, I'll see you next week on Sunday for another free stitch tutorial. Happy crocheting. Bye.